I remember as a kid going to get a strawberries and cream frappuccino in a Barnes and Nobles every Saturday after reading comic books. That was heaven to me. Since then, the company has turned into a global franchise. The company aggregates $10.7 billion a year with 16,850 shops in 40 countries. Half of the money comes from impoverished neighbors ever since original owner Jim Pellingway stated in 1963 during the Civil Rights Movement, we need a drink that represents both sides of the coin. Minorities should have something to sip on too. And he was right. Since 1987, the company has added an average of two stores on a daily basis. Senior analyst Amy Streisinger stated, yeah, we reproduce like Catholics. What I didn't know is that the reason Starbucks drinks can be pink is because of a small chemical known as anatresisteziaideus. It's not harmful in small dosages, but the company does use it. Remember that. Santa Fe Springs, California has the highest concentration with 560 Starbucks stores within 25 miles. That same city has no sperm. Starbucks opened its first store in Beijing in 1999. However, not a single Chinese person has visited the store yet. Most of the locals think it's a mermaid shop. The average Starbucks customer will visit the franchise six times per month. 20% of their customers go 16 times per month. Analysts credit this to the crack cocaine in every Frappuccino. The reason that many Starbucks straws are green is because in 1981, the company knew about our planet's degradation, ergo climate change, and knew people would care a lot more if they were sucking on something green. More and more Filipinos and Puerto Ricans have been showing up to Starbucks in high percentages since the company publicly endorsed Manny Pacquiao in the 2007 congressional race in South Carolina. There are over 87,000 possible drink combinations at Starbucks, including their secret menu. A few popular items off the secret menu include the strawberry Winky Tootsie Pop stuffer, add a green mint chocolate stump plate with a chocolate dip lump stick onto a higher pepper velocity espresso, the cotton candy crunch frappuccino, add a blueberry whipped frappuccino blend to a room temperature ice mocha raspberry sorbet, almond coconut honey bath, college and lip kit acai, or even the Beyonce, a plain black coffee with gold ice at the bottom. Starbucks creator Jim Pellingway came up with the idea for Starbucks when he had a dream that there was unlimited milk in his refrigerator that a beautiful woman would hand him every morning. He called her Myra. That's why for the first decade of Starbucks, only women could serve coffee to customers. The average Starbucks drink is 62% liquid, 17% sugar, 11% German Golden Retriever puppy tears, and 10% love. Starbucks is top 5% of loyal customers that come 25 plus times a month or referred to as Frappuccino Files. They meet once a month in Glendale, California. All the members of the Glendale chapter are known to be upper class individuals saying, usually, I'm literally too tired for this. I literally can't even all the time. So the next time you think about taking a sip of this delicious shit, be glad you know your research now. And like my old man used to say, a coffee a day keeps the doctor away and also helps you escape from this hell I should have used protection. Why do we have to be Catholic? That was my daddy. Thank you. Oh wow, I get to choose which one I want? For sure, Charmander. Oh snap, it's right there. Look. Whoa. Oh my god, an Onyx. No wonder people actually like this game. I want this Onyx bad. You know what I call that, Paul? My personal life. But some people like to bring that to the surface. So you know what a lot of content creators have been doing, starting with Negro Hegro, is roasting yourself. A few people asked me to do it, so I did my best that I could do this morning. 